Okay, so uh, we will now go to the solving ng problem pagdating ng ating pumps with Bernoulli equation. So, ilang sample problems po ba ang nagawa nyo, sir? Uh, I have here 10 problems, so I will just have to answer 1, 2, 3, 5 problems muna ngayon, okay? The other 5 will be continued some other time, okay? So, this is problem number 1. Let us read problem number 1. Pag-uwi natin yung ano. Gusto ko dilaw eh. Mm -hmm. Gusto ko siya dilaw para ano. A pump receives 10 kilograms of water at 200 kPa. 200 kilograms per second dapat to. And 110, and 110 degrees Celsius. And discharges it at 980 kPa. Compute the power required in kilowatts. I will show you a technique. Sir, ang lagi natin, step 1 natin, we have to solve for the total head. Okay? Head net. O, okay, yung head net na yun, that is the uh, pressure head plus the potential head plus or elevation head plus velocity head plus the head losses. Now, do we have any head losses na binigay dito? Wala. Do we have any size na binigay dito? Wala din. Okay? So, wala tayo makukuha ang uh, velocity difference. And then, meron po ba tayo dito ng uh, elevation difference? None. None given. So, this is also zero. So, we have ano, uh, pressure. Okay? That is pressure head. So, uh, in order to calculate, okay, Meron tayo ditong mass, mass flow of uh, equal to 10 kilograms per second. Okay? And then, meron tayong pressure at inlet and then outlet. Pump receives 10 kilograms water at 200 kPa, meaning your suction is at 200 kPa. And then, your discharge is at 980 kPa. Okay. So, ano ba yung ating total dito sa headnet na ito? So, for the headnet, okay, ang meron lang naman tayo dyan, the pressure differences. So, we have to list down PD minus PS over yung gamma. And take note that the gamma of water is equal to 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. That is for water. Now, solving the total head, okay, net head, meron kang uh, 980 kPa minus 200 kPa. Okay. Simplify na natin kaagad yung kanyang unit. That is uh, kilonewton per uh, meter squared over 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. We cancel the same units, yung kilonewton, tsaka yung meter squared. Okay? Matitira dito iisa, and then akit natin. So, uh, calculating, we'll now arrive with 980 minus 200 divided by 9.81. So, that is in terms of meter of water na. So, that is 79.51. That is equal to 79.51 kilonewton, ay kilonewton, sorry, meters of water of H2. You now have a net head of 79. Now, so for solving, okay, solve na natin yung kanyang uh, power. For the pump power, okay, gamma, Q, and head net. Okay, equal to 9.81 kilonewton per uh, cubic meter. Tapos yung Q will be, binigay ba dyan? Okay, so uh, may binigay ba dito? Para may kulang dito, tignan ko lang yung Q niya. Wait ah, let me just find yung Q. <clears throat> Bigay ko na lang yung Q ha. Q is equal to. 
10 cubic meter per second. That is Q. Kulang yung Q niya dyan. Hindi na ibigay. So, that is typographical error only. 10 uh, meter cube per second. And then, multiply it to uh, head net, 79.51 meters. So, we cancel the same units and we will arrive with ayan, kilonewton meter. Kilonewton meter per second is actually kilojoule per second. Okay? And kilojoule per second is simply kilowatts. Okay? So, the answer will be calculating, i-multiply na agad natin ito na 9.81 and then i-multiply natin ang 10. The answer will be 7,800 kilowatts. Pakicheck nga kung tama. Kilojoule per second. Kasi joule per second is watts. This is kilonewton. And then meter. 9,800 times 10. Tama. 7,800 kilowatts. Okay? That is for problem number one.